hi guys in this tutorial we are going to see how to implement logging and exception handling using web client so in our previous tutorial we covered how to use web client instead of rest template to consume other services so we took two example one is the book my show provider and we wrote book my show web client with this client we invoke this book my show using spring 5 reactive programming web client ok so if anyone not aware on it you can check the video playlist so this is the video I uploaded yesterday so you can go through it once even code is available on our group git ok so this is the part 2 of web client where we just want to add the logging mechanism and exception handling so logging here we are going to apply using exchange filter that will be implement like pre, -log pre process logic and post process logic before request coming to our endpoint it will add the logging mechanism and after getting the response it will add the post processing logging ok so let's do that now we are going to modify this existing code which we did in previous tutorial ok so let's write two method one to capture the request and another one to capture the response ok so let's make it private method and we are going to use here filter that is provided by web client there is a class called exchange filter function ok specify the method something like log request if you observe this exchange filter function class contains two method one is of request processor and another one is of response processor so let me open that control O you can observe here of request processor and of response processor so these two method will be called once the request is coming to our controller ok so let's finish this log request first directly return no first we need to capture the request right ok let's return directly exchange filter function dot we want to log the request scope ok and here let's add the lambda expression client request or something like that ok let's close it add the logger we are going to add the sl4j ok something is logger factory hello ggr logger factory coming from sl4j dot get logger of the class which you want to log ok now let's add the log statement here log dot info let's capture two field as of now the method and the request uri ok specify some text here something like request now from from client request dot method get the method ok then get the uri so this is the beauty of sl4j we no need to do the string concatenation based on dynamic argument we just need to pass the object which we want to log ok now let's directly return 
the client request one dot just and our request okay let's format it now similarly write a method to log the response okay so let me copy this we'll change the method name and some syntax something like log response this should be of response processor and this should be change the name here so that it will easy to understand change the return type here let's capture only the status code response status code ok and client response dot status code so you want one argument it will give if the success then we will get the status code 200 or if create something new we will get 201 like this we will get ok we write for log request and log response so let's check for one of our endpoint let's check it for this post one and as I told this is the filter which will call request come to this book now before that and after getting the response ok so let's add it here dot filter then give the log request then add more add one more filter to get the log response ok now for every request and response we will get the log statement in our console as you didn't specify any appender that file appender or anything we didn't um, configure ok so we will test this log um, log statement so let's add one more features that is the exception handling we'll test both the case in single shot okay so before add this uh, exception handling let's create our custom exception create a new class called book my so client exception ok hope you know how to create our custom exception extends it from exception add the constructor with string argument okay that's it if you want you can add the serial UID let's add the default one so let's add for this track booking booking ID you can add the same for all the method so let's add for this one then same you can copy for the other endpoint okay so here once we retrieve we will check on status ok whether status is 404x or 5x we are getting HTTP status ok is something like that 4xx client error ok then specify the some variable through which we can specify our exception which is our custom exception specify that using mono error our custom exception that is 
book my sorry new book my show client exception okay and give the message four zero four something like unsupported exception okay we didn't add the dot import the HTTP status the type what is that let's rewrite okay type mistake so this we wrote for only to check the 404 assume if suppose there is one 500 internal error so let's add both for 4xx and for 5x as well ok if there is is 5xx client error then give some message like 505 server exception something like that ok here just change it to as 5x belongs from the server issue so let's specify here 5xx server error ok so same for all the method all the client method you can add this 4x and 5x ok so let's test this this exception handling and our logging one ok so let me run this application this web client I guess it is up no let's run it yep, application is up on port 8080 now let's go to the postman we have the post method so let's hit something like give the name bemol change the show name to dj this is the request body of our post method so let's hit it hi bemol your request for dj booking successfully so now let's check the log you can observe here as we added log uh, log request and log response these two field added ok this is the request URI and the status code as part of response similarly test for gate 1 in which we added our exception handling mechanism this is the get booking by id so url is track booking then we need to give the booking id so let's give the booking id which is not available here give something like 99 which may not be available in our database so let's test it we are getting the message 505 server exception ok which we specify in our exception constructor argument ok so if there is any 401 something like unauthorized access or 404 any exception related to 4x will give the message like 404 unsupported exception as here we forcefully trying to get a object get a record with this id and it is not available in our database so that's why it's giving the 5x related exception so similar message is mapped here ok so this is how we can implement the logging using the filter and we can handle the exception for each api ok so you have that's it about this particular video guys 
if anyone have any doubt or concern you can add a comment and those who not subscribed yet please subscribe it and thanks for watching this video